important things. Drink. It's very important. Getting ready for the stream of consulting our notes. See this very important thing here and prepping. There's there's a commercial that's hiding all of this, so no one will ever see anything that's happening right now. Okay. So fix the hat. That's like right. Guy. Yes, exactly. Oh, we're on air and see. Welcome to another weekly live stream. I am Dark Star, and with me I have Sanio. And as you can see by our attire, this month it's all about the carnival. Because that is the theme of our stretch goals. And we've already hit two of them, the masquerade mask and the cycling carnival colors, the purple, green, and yellow cycling carnival dye. And we are mere moments away from hitting the next one, the jester mask wand and staff. That's awesome. So imagine this with my <laughs> head on it. Not literally my head on it. Oh. I mean, although that would be awesome. See, it's like that. Imagine. Yeah. You could shake it around. Maybe we get up to like a, like a higher level, like 150,000. Maybe it's... The, 200 and the if we get to 250,000... The Dark Star. Dollars, it'll be the Dark Star, Star, Jester, Wand, and Staff. You heard it here, folks. Right now. I did hear it. You did hear it. Yes, and dispenses Pez. It would be like this. And Pez would pop out. That would be even amazing. Delicious. Fantastic. Great ideas, everyone. Keep the ideas flowing like the spice. All right. We also, in our weekly live streams, we always have prizes. And... Keith, how many ways are there to be eligible to win a prize? Do you know? Oh, I always forget. You can be in the game. Is it just the one? Is it one or two? You have There's two options. Is it one or two? Oh, man. I'm, I'm failing my test here. It's two. The answer is two. How one way one? is to make a purchase. Oh. Any purchase counts. Right. So make a purchase on our store. The second way is to go inside the game and type our not so secret phrase and the secret phrase let the good times roll i wanted to do the original french saying from louisiana because it's carnival it's carnival season it. it's laissez le bon temps rouler spell it like it sounds uh no do not spell no. it like it sounds no. uh okay. but we uh we decided to Bless you with the English translation. So it's let the good times roll. If you type that in game chat, you'll be eligible, not in Discord or not in Twitch chat, but in game chat, you'll be eligible to win a prize. And we'll give two, we'll do two prize drawings, one at 415 and one at 445. So get ready for some prizes. That's central time. And, by the way, if you make a purchase, you will be eligible to get the stretch goals. Or if you participate in our rewards program, you will get the stretch goals. So, if you just make one purchase, you can get one of each of the stretch goals? You'll get all the stretch goals. One purchase gets you all the stretch goals. And the more money we make in the month, the more stretch goals we make. That's how it works. So everybody wins. I like this Jessica, Jester mask wand and Jester mask thing we're about to hit. Well, it's the, it's the classic, you know, you, you always see like the Jester and the Jester has the little miniature Jester on his staff, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's, I thought it would be the, like the classic, like, yeah. you know, hi, right, it's the little, it's the mini me, right? I <clears throat> see. So, we have uh, carnival colors. Yeah. And masquerade mask. Those are the these two goals. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. And uh, if we once we hit the the jester mask wand and jester mask staff, then it's going to be uh, a set of basement hatches with the brewing symbols, the the beer, uh, the wine, and uh, the liquor symbols on them on the brewing hatches. Because I have seen some amazing basements full of 
uh, brewing <coughs> uh, kegs. It, it's like, it's insane. Like hundreds, because we made those and we intentionally made uh, the brewing casks stackable. And I've mm -hmm. seen like insane hundreds and hundreds of brewing casks stacked as you guys are aging <clears throat> your uh, brews. It's pretty impressive. So thank you for doing that. I'm very impressed. Um, as we've mentioned, release 63, we'll see some new store changes coming. We are we have been doing some steady improvements to the store. Uh, so uh, that's all in prep of moving away from the web-based store and all into a in-game store focus. Uh, that's uh, going to be happening in release 63. We're also going to be uh, changing the multiply, multiplier of crowns. So uh, there's going to be a 100x multiplier on the current crown exchange rate. Uh, so uh, for every crown you currently have, it's going to be 100 times that number. Uh, so uh, that's also going to be happening uh, in release 63. And basically the website's going to Sell, go down to selling four things. So uh, it's going to be our rewards program. It's going to be major new content like episode two access, uh, service vouchers, and the crowns themselves. Um, and all every, all of the individual items that we've been selling on the store, those are going to be moved to or only sell, sold in the game. That's going to be what's happening. And we're making a ton of improvements to the in-game store itself uh, with descriptions and images uh, and uh, to make it more like what you see on the web store. So that's all happening for release 63. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> that's the future, but the now is release 62, which launched last week and had a ton of cool stuff in it, and players have been playing with that, including black backslot items that can be enchanted and masterworked. Uh, that includes backpacks, uh, cloaks, wings, quivers, uh, masks, you know, speaking of the carnival theme, masks can now be used as patterns for helms. Uh, the Oh, and one of the biggest things is one of our most powerful features in the game is player property uh, in our housing system. So uh, we have decided to spread that gift uh, to our players earlier in the game before you got a free row lot deed when you finished the story, which took about 40-ish hours of gameplay. And we decided that we wanted to make that happen much earlier in your gameplay experience. So uh, we had Keith here, Sanyo, uh, move that row lot deed reward to uh, the outskirts quest. So where in the outskirts is that now exactly? So when you finish uh, any particular outskirts storyline, uh, uh, you check in with your main contact, uh, which for Soulsburg Outskirts is Captain Kinsey, for, uh, let's try to remember all these things, for Highville Outskirts, it's Captain Burns, for uh, Blood River Outskirts, it's either Albrecht or Phineas Jumpelmouth, depending on who you sided with. Uh, if you finished, if you haven't finished the Outskirts, when you finish it, uh, when you finish your first one, you'll get the the uh, the robot deed, and you only get the one. If you haven't collected your robot deed, uh, but you have already finished the outskirts, you can go back to one of those people I mentioned, and you could uh, whichever outskirts you finished, finish one. It's just that one person. If you finish any of them, just pick whichever one you like, and uh, you can just say deed to that person, and they'll give you the deed. Could you say indeed? I don't think so. Well, well you I could say in yeah. space deed. Right, that'd be fine. <clears throat> I'm going to do say, that. Don't I'm... say indeed. You can say in deed if you want. But just keep it simple. Just say deed. Don't, don't listen to me. I just wanted to be clever there. You can do what he said, but then also do what I said. Right. Uh, do what he said. Yeah. Don't listen to me. Right. But we still give you a reward, a different reward, at oh, that's the end right. of episode one now. So now what you get at the end of episode one is you get two things, you, you, uh, which will come with your normal rewards uh, when, you, when you finish episode one. Uh, you will get, instead of that road lot deed, which you can now get way earlier, you will get a village lot deed and a, uh, a village 
House of D. Uh, and if you have already finished episode one, you can go into any Oracle confirmatory and say, uh, uh, deed, I mean, I want to get, uh, I don't want to get three. Say deed and then you'll get it. Uh, or is it shroud? I forgot what, when you say the Oracle. If deed doesn't work, just say shroud to the Oracle and then you'll get it. All right. Uh, other cool things in release 62 is we lowered property taxes across the board. We had previously <clears> lowered <throat> it for row lot deeds, but we actually lowered it for all size lot deeds. Um, Valentine items were introduced, uh, our yearly uh, version of Valentine. And this year, the gift boxes are heart-shaped, not just big uh, squares with Valentine's wrapping. Young dragons are in the game, uh, so aka baby dragons, but we yeah. called them young dragons. Uh, young dragons, dragons. yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and there's, there's multiple colors of them, by the way. Uh, not the black ones, not the white ones. We're holding off on those, but all the other colors are, are in there in some fashion somewhere. Maybe it's a random counter, maybe it's in the desert. You know, you can go look for them. Yep. Uh, we also did some balance work on the summoned creatures um, as a first pass. It's going to uh, get better, but it was a, just a first pass. Um, and a new uh, player dungeon room type, or, well, room and hallway type natural caverns. <clears throat> and release 58, release 59, and release 60 live stream items uh, were added to the game. And that's just the, and that was our first release of 2019. And we so we've got two more for the first quarter, and those are going to have all sorts of cool stuff in it, including <clears throat> a new pole arm type. Uh, so right now there's only two pole arm types, unlike other weapons uh, types that have a bunch. Uh, so there, and this is going to be pronged weapons, uh, including uh, tridents and pitchforks. And so, for instance, that uh, the demon has that cool trident uh, that he fights you with. That's going to become a cool artifact that you can use. Um, we're also going to introduce grandmaster only effects. These are effects in crafting that only unlock when you reach grandmaster level. Fertilizer for agriculture. <clears throat> more work on pet balance. Uh, a new boss creature, the envy angel. That goes live next month. Uh, uh, Easter items, the first <clears throat> episode two areas, and spawning for player dungeons. And that's all just in episode, I mean, uh, all uh, just in Q1. Uh, and then the rest of 2019 is going to have all sorts of other cool stuff, like <clears throat> the ability to have an empty row lot. Right now, we require row lots to have a house in, on them. Always, uh, you can't have like an empty row lot like other lot deeds, but now we're going to remove that restriction. Um, <clears throat> we're going to let you upgrade your player owned town with crowns. We added the ability uh, to upgrade lot deeds in game with crowns, and we're going to expand that to let player owned towns have that same option. Um, we're going to <clears throat> we're going to add specializations to crafting. We have specializations for combat. So that's the ability to choose a specialization, uh, like a, a which combat or magic school you want to specialize in. Well, we're going to add that same idea to crafting, and that's going to let you choose your effect when you're doing masterwork or enchanting. We're going to do some loot improvements, more improvements to fishing, more boss fights, and then all of this culminates in episode two at the end of the year uh, with a revamp of our quest and journal system, uh, theater system, treasure hunting with treasure maps, um, item reputation. So you use your weapon over and over to do certain things and it will earn uh, a reputation uh, that gives it both a title and a buff. So for instance, uh, skeleton slayer, uh, if you use your sword to slay skeletons over and over and that it'll get the title, you know, skeleton slayer. You know, that's just a, doesn't, that's, that's not necessarily the final name uh, and it'll get a buff against uh, undead, uh, maybe specifically skeletons. Um, and then uh, expansions and improvements to the taming system, including things like uh, leveling up your pet, uh, pet skills, the ability to control the skills that your pet is using. So maybe even we're, we're talking about having a separate uh, toolbar for your pet skills, um, customizable NPCs, and expanded permission system for containers and doors to help improve uh, things like player dungeons and the ability for players to create quests, which is what we're going to show off later in the live stream. Uh, and uh, I was talking about release 
63 uh, earlier. And one of the things I wanted to show you guys is something that Travis Vascourt Poor has been working on. So he, <coughs> players uh, started a, uh, well, Travis has been working with players uh, on a thread uh, in the forums of existing items in the game, decorations that we want to turn into player decos. Oh, oh. Well, before we get into that, let's do some prizes. We'll come back to that. That was prizes. a teaser. Teased. Coming soon. Hi, everybody. We got some prizes. Ready? Yes. Do it. Go. Prize it. Go. Ornate fish pavers goes to ZZYZZX. Thank you. I don't know. Zizix. Zizix. Ornate fish throne goes to Crindel. Dragon mask pattern pack goes to Dakota. Ballet outfit pattern pack goes to Nineveh Rai. Valentine gift boxes goes to Noel. And Valentine card goes to Kobe. Yay, all winners. All right, congratulations, winners. And remember, how many ways are there to be eligible to win a prize? Two. I know there's two now. Ah, he got it. There, That's right. There are two. My listening two. comprehension is, is decreasing. <laughs> you can say our not-so-secret phrase, let the good times roll, in game chat, or you can make a purchase from the store. No purchase required, because that's the law. All right, so to go back to what I was teasing, <clears throat> so this is a set of books, uh, non-interactive, just a, a clump of books together that you can set up as a decoration on your bookshelves. We have a lot of special decorations that uh, world builders, level designers, whatever we are, that we, we put in the game, and they're awesome looking, but you guys don't have them yet. But list, yeah. Travis, he doesn't like that. He wants you to have like all of it. So yeah. he's making these big li uh, actual lists yeah. uh, of all the things he wants to, to, to turn into player decoration. Yeah. And so this was from this uh, thread in the forums of like things that exist in the game. And you guys posted pictures of like, hey, I would love to have this thing. <clears throat> and sometimes it's a picture of something that exists in the game. And sometimes it was just uh, a, a suggestion from things. So this was one of them. Uh, this was another one, cherry trees. Um, we have those beautiful cherry trees that are in Arteris. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to be able to buy a tree pack. I think there's um, two sizes, too. There's a big yeah, one. Yeah, I'm going to show those in a second. Oh, okay. You're getting ahead of yourself, man. Spoilers. So these are the uh, full-size cherry trees. I'll, I'll let you savor those for a moment. Like Even though my surprise later was ruined yeah, by Keith. Just ruined. I'll just sit over here and bring out a couple of the next, like the next slide, you just had to wait one slide, man, just one slide. <clears throat> and so uh, these are the tabletop versions of the chair tree. And look, he even put them in the little bonsai style boxes. It's all about the extra detail. All right. Uh, and then uh, little perfume bottles. Wow. You even think I've seen them. They're awesome. <clears throat> I need to use those. All right, here we go. And then this is. Oh, uh, I love these ones. These are uh, little uh, fish traps. Little nautical set of nautical themed items. A bird cage for all you bird lovers, or maybe they're bird haters because they're caging. Birds bird? who love to fly. Well, there's a lot of players who like uh, shrink themselves special magics lately. Maybe those players are getting you know, locked in one of these birds. Yeah. All right. So, uh, and there's more. Uh, I didn't show. Uh, there's uh, big uh, fish nets too. Uh, outdoor uh, decorations. Uh, those are those are going to go, and all that's for mm -hmm. going to be live in release 63. So. When Travis comes on here shortly, we should all sing his praises and thank him for that. <clears throat> so uh, last thing uh, before we bring Travis in, we start showing off uh, player quests. Uh, reminder for some big upcoming things. Uh, we just launched release 62, but of course we're already working on release 63. You can see in our standups a lot of things we've been working on. Um, <clears throat> That is going to go live at the end of the month, uh, February 28th. 
Um, and then the following Monday will be the Release 63 Dance Party on March 4th. And then the Release 63 live stream will be on March 8th. So those are the upcoming events. And Keith, if you would go retrieve Travis and we can start the player quest section of our live stream. And uh, I saw a question earlier swing by in chat. Uh, someone was asking, uh, but the important question, who ruined the mines and when are they getting fixed? We actually already have a build going right now with a fix in that. Um, uh, some nodes, uh, some pathfinding got messed up in the mines. Uh, this is the unreachable nodes oh, issue. Yeah. Uh, so there's a fix already in uh, for that. Uh, that, uh, that patch should go live. Uh, I think tonight. Uh, tonight. So uh, because, you know, that's one of those things. It's like you always patch on a Friday before the weekend, right? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that what the, what all the uh, development guides say is always patch on a Friday before a weekend? Yeah. yeah. And on a hot, right before a holiday? <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah. What could go wrong? Uh, so Travis is going to boot up. Uh, <clears throat> he's going to drive. over there for you. you know, make sure my lovely hat is in the frame. I will move the mic from the keyboard so it doesn't sound like stampeding horses. Yeah. Hopefully everyone can still hear us. Out again. Uh, where's the... I it launched. Where's the, uh, the launcher? Oh, uh, you want the live? Do you yeah. live? Yeah. So uh, what we wanted to show you guys, you know what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, so we, uh, Star had begun a player created quest from Lilybird that I really liked. And but we ran out of time, so yeah. I didn't get very far. I got to I got to right before we were going to go to the hospital. Yeah, you got pretty far. So I thought we could do that a little bit more. And then there's another one at the. Uh, it's called the Gray Tower in Paxler. Run over and start that one. But these are all pretty involved, and they take a lot of reading, so we got to read on camera. So. Right. So, so we'll, we'll we'll summarize. We're not going to read the whole thing. And so, but what we're really trying to show is how, you know, one of the things we tried to create in Shroud was really make a sandbox. So, uh, a game that ha gave you the players uh, tools to make experiences for yourselves and for other players. By the way, uh, Travis is a trooper. List is a trooper. He uh, He's not feeling well, but he came in anyway because he knew we had this live stream today. So As opposed to the last time we tried to do quests when I was sick. And... Yeah, so. Uh, we drove in the hail. Uh, yeah, oh, and today it's, uh, yeah. well, technically today is it's... called Grapo. Which is a mix of snow, sleet, and hail. Mm -hmm. it's, and the term is grapple. It's uh, grappling on and off all day. Yeah, G R A U P E L. I learned that from the Weather Channel today. Grapple. Yeah. So happy grapple, everyone. It's like like a Czechoslovakian holiday yeah. or something. Happy grapple. Okay, so I want to. So uh, this. Unscline asks, why is the support request so slow? I have an account issue, etc. Uh, so our apologies for the slow response times. We, um, our support person moved on to another company, and then the person who was going to take that over uh, has had severe back issues, and his father is also ha uh, uh, has uh, cancer. So we are, uh, but we just brought on someone to. Uh, back us up on that who is starting uh, Monday. Uh, so we should be catching up next week, but our apologies for where the support is right now. The wizard. Okay, so where we left off, uh, you had heard that um, Arabella, some pirates, somebody had, had drugged the mead and everybody woke up and somebody had gone through her stuff. This is Jade Valley, by the way. This is like the main bridge. So that's where we are. 
Um, and she had a treasure map and she doesn't know if they stole, they went through her, uh, her lingerie and did they steal the treasure map also, but she wasn't feeling well, so she's recovering. And I think learning how to be a healer too. A lot of information. And uh, yeah, this, this quest has a, is pretty extensive. So I came up here, I forget the guide, but I kind of remember. So there was like the couple clues in Runic. All right, so this was the one where you looked for the orange roses, yeah, right? Yeah. For, the, for all your clues. It's important not to skip steps. Oh, okay. kind of st so the actual next step was to come in here. You learn more about. So this is this is just, if you look through uh, all these healers notes, so there's just like notes on like other players and how their, their treatment is doing and all that. So she's in the hospital ward, and the hospital ward is beneath this house. So, and these people are trying to get on the ship. So this is kind of a, a blend, if you didn't see last week, it's kind of a treasure island soda style. This is it. This was the runic one, and this was the note that she left that was kind of like, hey, I'm really grateful for being healed, but food's gross. Could somebody bring me some decent food? This is, I guess, what they're feeding them. So they're being just cabbage. Cabbage, yeah. Basically just just cabbage. So if we go outside and down to the hospital, I love this quest love for the deco. Like every yeah. location, they just like, and these people like, it, it's like they don't live in these houses. They owned a house and decorated it and to dedicate Wait, it to Wait, so no one lives here? This quest. It's, just, it's just for the quest? Well, I assume like so. Like a basement too? Uh, uh, check out this basement. This is the hospital. It's just all set up like a hospital ward. Like they devoted so much time and resources to this hospital ward. Wait, so someone bought and decorated the house and the basement <laughs> for both for both the houses in this quest so far? Uh, there's a third one too, and then another basement. So this is your check-in form for the recovery ward. Like they went all out. Uh, so a question from. Uh, Smagaras, any chance we'll be able to design NPC text someday? Yes, absolutely. That is that is on the plan for episode two. Mushroom poisoning. So I just had fun. I really encourage you to go do this quest on your own. You can take the time. What did that say about Arabella? That's what she said. Um, and read all the flavor because it's fun. I got all the cool props. Ooh, this looks like the uh, the operating room. This is the operating. This is awesome. I don't think I made it in here last time. That's wow, look at that! Chemicals. It totally looks like an operating room. Yeah, this is great. And by the way, the purchase of some of those items went to uh, make a difference. The uh, children's charity. Oh yeah, all this hospital stuff. So good yeah. job. Good job, you all. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember which room was Arabella's. It was marked with. Oh, here it is. It's marked with it. Rose, like everything else. Yeah, they have all these different words put out. Wow. So she's going to be released from the recovery ward soon. She needs somewhere to stay. I want to stay at the Elven Hill. House is cozy. Come find you when you get out. I don't like the cabbage. How about? We were supposed to go to the northwest corner of the market. Head to directions the properties. So we're going to Colin Catan's. That's where she went to stay. She didn't have anywhere to stay after she's released for the hospital. And this is another one of her journals. And then I like how Lilybird gives you kind of like a narration, like hey, here's where we were, and like catches up, and um, we go to the Elven Hill Guest House next. Sorry if I'm skipping some of it. It would just take the entire stream. Yeah, but like yeah. you said before, there's a lot to read, and it's all uh, interesting. It's, yeah. it's not just uh, not just a hint. It's a fascinating backstory, collaboration. Yeah. And this hospital is like great. Cafeteria. Kitchen, cafeteria. I'm looking for the... Uh... Oh, and is that a little flower stand that. for like yep. people who are sick? You, like, so come back. Wait, go, go look back there. Wait, turn around. Is that oh, like yeah, the flower yeah, stand the for like people who are sick? The gift shop? Yeah. Right. Nice. So turn to the right. Yes, sir. 
get turned around. Yeah, and we won't also show the prize at the end. If you run the quest, you can get the prize from Lily because I don't want her to get like people to not do it and then spam her with. Can we get neon exit signs? They'd be like chemical bioluminescence. Or the cobalt. Heard yourself this year. Look, there is there is the creator of the quest herself has joined us on the live stream. All right, so we're heading back to town. So this is Jade Valley. It's a player-owned town, but anyone can come in here and start, or did you start the quest in this town? Yeah, it starts in there. Where did you start it? I don't remember. At Arabella's house, where it's on the forum. I don't remember where I go next. We don't have our cheat sheet from last two weeks ago, do we? Oh, and I mailed everybody their fish back from the fishing competition. Sorry, I oh, held awesome. on to them. For so many people were in the fish head. I'm lost. I don't remember. Oh, she can show me. Let me go to the next. The elven. Oh, here. Is that it? I did this once all the way through. I didn't. You talk to the town crier, then ask them where. Uh, was it Caitlin lives? I hope she's leading us to us because I'm just following. <laughs> oh, there we go. Dragon statue. So this is where Arabella went to stay. Okay, yeah, here it's this nice guest house. Wait, so is this yet another house that's just dedicated to this quest? I think so. there's a little orange rose. I think some people do live in here because I was doing the quest and I was in Rinaldi's house and he's like, "What are you doing in my house?" We left a note that said that. We look for more orange roses. Help me if you see any. Oh, There's here we one. Go. So uh, often the orange rose is on like a letter or a book that gives backstory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. But it's important to not just go to everything building with an orange rose because you'll skip steps that way. Kind of read. Yeah, so Lily Bird confirmed that this is yet another house that's just dedicated to the quest. That's crazy. That's amazing. Lon's help. Freshen up the guild hall. They went to the guild hall after they got ready. The guild hall was hard to miss. Great decoration, by the way. Love this house. Wait, wait is that the fridge? Oh, oh their, look at that. Their, uh, oh my god, that's their fridge. Let's close that. Letting all the cold air out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Now we go to the guild hall. Uh, where is Jade Valley uh, in the world? Where's Jade Valley in the world, Lily Bird? I don't know. Guild hall? We definitely want to send people to in some random house. The sign. Or... The... Uh, Lily Bird, where's the guild it's hall? It's near. It's. Near Elysium, I think is someone is saying. Near Elysium. Southwest right. corner of the island. So uh, Elysium itself. Wait, I think you ran Is past the you. island on the southwest uh, corner of Novia. For is people who want to go find. This is like a huge structure. You get to Elysium from uh, like the this. Exeter area or the. Labels. What's the class? You know if I'm going the wrong way. Guild Hall is near the center of town. Market. We're gonna fly around a little bit to save time. Cheating, cheater. Yeah. I like this town. It's a nice look to it. She's got some 
what's kind of troublesome sometimes is like you'll have a continuous town and you sort of like lose track of where you are. But they do really nice is they have some nice buffers. Yeah. I really appreciate when you have like a, a neighborhood after neighborhood with like a little gap in between. Yeah. And they kind of keep you get a you get a real good sense style. of like movement and and where you are and yeah like the housing style in here the housing style is great. I mean all the decorations are phenomenal yeah. someone put a lot of thought into when you all get yeah it, it speaks to if you get an organized POT together a lot of times you know <clears throat> we love you guys but sometimes Scotty will make his you know Greek themed Venus and then he'll load it up in the game which he's never seen in the game and it'll be you know Elven House Airship. You know, Viking house, whatever. But they got some of these POTs. They really uh, enforce the HOA. <laughs> so help me look. Oh, there we go. Oh. I think they end up going to Rinaldi's incomplete list of incidents. There he is right there, Rinaldi. Oh, nice house. I've caught up with her continues. I think we'll go see. Okay, so she's trying to meet up with the group, and they're all gonna go play poker at Rinaldi's house. So if you talk to the crown, talk, crown crier, he tells you where Rinaldi's house. And he has three houses, and I think it's the third one listed. You just follow him. It's his house. There they go. That hedge work on the right. Yeah, the garden. Well, I'm gonna have to check that out yeah. after, some other time. All, yeah, the, all awesome. the placement, everyone like works so hard to get everything like, lined up, which is, is a little tough for our game because you know, you don't snap yeah. like some other games. There's like. no undo. We want to go home and decorate like with just the game. It's like, oh, go undo. I was like, oh wait, that's not a thing. The people came over. One of these was the note that was like, hey, it's Rinaldi. What are you doing? So Ben Gunn reporting to the officers of Jade Dragons. Trouble the people of the valley. Take a gander from that fancy telescope roof up here at the lighthouse. You need to head to the lighthouse. I like how it was in pirate speak. Yeah, in pirate speak. Yeah, what do you do? I think he may also use this house. He may also use. I know Rinaldi submits a lot of bugs. Is there is see that you've got your insect things? Played well, and the scorpion chair. That's yeah. one of the rarest items in the game. We're heading back to the lighthouse is where is where Ben Gunn went. <coughs> Up there in the lighthouse. We'd walk past this. Oh, there's the little That's also a nice touch for a quest. Oh, you can sort of get eventually get led back to a place. Yeah, this is all just dedicated for this quest. It's great. Sure, with the oh, he's counting pirates. He just looks out of the notches one fairy pirate. And we go up and we look through the uh Yeah, Lily Bird was confirming this lighthouse is another dedicated house just for the There's a rose on the stairs. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. there. There's strange going on around the lighthouse. And some about the spider filled cave down by the beach. There's blinking lights at night, so the pirates are up to something. Something's going on in the cave. This is the bathroom. Excuse me. <laughs> I really like this touch when I got up here. I like when they put it in the bathroom. It's a weird little thing where it makes it. Eating up here. Where's your misty oh. hours? So there's a lot of great fiction to read. Then you go to the cave eventually. More they kind of sit up here as their perch. They're kind of confirming some weirds going on at the cave under the lighthouse. 
got to look through the spy glass as he's been up here counting pirates. And then I've got it on. Oh, boy. Yes, I did. <laughs> and I won't, I'll go in here and I won't say anything more once we're in here. So kind of the culmination. So spoilers, if anybody doesn't want to see the last of it. Yeah, so close your eyes now. Back in a few seconds. So this is like, all right, we'll leave it there. Just another space dedicated to the end of the quest. Awesome. We can't wait to give you guys like more tools like NPC text. And yeah. And uh, yeah, one of, one of the things that's going to come up for episode two is the ability to like have conditionals on doors and containers. So you'll be able to say you can't go, you can't open this door or this container unless you have like a certain object. Yeah. So that'll that'll make things like this really even even cooler. Thank you guys. Thanks for hosting us and showing us around. I had notes for the walkthrough. So now we're gonna do just two knowledge right there. Uh, chaos tree, I think. Cat at clone. You can have yourself in one outfit, cast cat at clone, and then change outfits. So you got two of yourselves in different outfits. Uh, keys, yes, we would, that's something we want to do too. Yeah. That, yeah, keys would just be another class of object to unlock doors. Okay, so now I'm here in Paxlayer. This quest I have not run all the way through, so we may sputter and be dumb and yell at us. If, you know where to go. Oh, Winfield's oh. here. Awesome. Hail. Very helpful. Governor Winfield. Here a second ago. Oh, yeah. This, something went wrong here. Look at those bodies. Yeah. This meeting. seemed like it was a nice. Like a town hall or church like of a uh, chaos of cult chaos or something. We, let's not assume too much. Oh. Well. I don't they, think they have PTA. They might just here. be nice. Well, more fun. Oh, well. and he's reaching for the entrance. Well, maybe, maybe everything will be innocent and, and <coughs> safe once we go inside. <coughs> hmm. Going on here. Ooh, this uh, can't be good. Bolton? It's like some necromancy. Maybe they're just embalmers or something. Yeah, there's a zombie vulture. Hang on, Strom. Research. Got a, he uses brother as a test su subject. Oh, he's drank oh, in the corpses. There. And, yeah, this is he's all, using a monk as a test subject. It's all necromancy. Or, oh, brother Jasper. I thought it was his brother. Good, good, yeah. good catch. It works with another gray tower vendor outside the house. Herbalist. Either Oracle Confirmatory and Nobia Market. Market. We want to go to Nobia Market. Gray tower vendor. A minute after it passed for questions in a player quest around, players could get past doors so they spoke a password. Oh, they had a deal. Yeah, that's neat. I actually typed it. I guess. So doing some what is this necromantical? Necroman <laughs> Nancer roll? Romancimus experiments? <laughs> so I don't know if we're supposed to go to a market within Paxlayer or the physical oh. Novia market. First, we've got to go to the so, confirmatory and look for the thing should be. Yeah. The in Novia Market, the, yeah. the zone? Yes. Okay. We need to go to a different zone. But... Novia Market Pot. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, so we're just going to jump to a low it. level, yeah. Uh, it is in Novia. 
within walking distance of Pax Lair. That's by Brittany, right? Yeah. Market, yeah. Good place to shout. So we need to find the Oracle Conservatory. Oh, oh, hold on. Look at this house. That's awesome. I'm getting Wait. distracted. I'm both Ooh. here with prizes. Prizes! Let's do it. Prize time. Ornate Fish Pavers goes to Mystique Night Song. Ornate Fish Throne goes to Zong with an X. Dragon Mask Pattern Pack goes to Lancel Lancermane. Ballet Outfit Pattern Pack goes to Kron. Caledon. Valentine gift boxes goes to Escher Thorncrow and Valentine card goes to JB. Awesome, thank you. Congratulations. Let me find the uh, Oracle. Uh, I wasn't watching. There it is. There right it there. is. All right. So it's the vendor near it. Is that what they said? Here. Oracle Conservatory. Packs and rares. Keep teleports and rescall. EVL Emporium. Who looks EVL? Oh no, it's people from. I don't know. Working with another vendor. About to make. Nation, anything quest related on this guy? That's my I see Lesney has a question about giving players the ability to fly like that when you have wings equipped. Well, we would love to give you the ability. Yeah. Unfortunately, the game was not built with that in mind. Yeah. So, uh, you like the game doesn't have like edge conditions that support. That. Yeah, so you can see like you would fly off the edge of. So. So right. kind of how well, when when other MMOs that have given flying, they then. Created levels that it was okay to fly. So should we ever have flying, it would yeah. probably be a zone that's built for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we have to go. Uh, so go straight. That's the oracle. Yep. Sorry, Captain. I'll look to the right. Is that like a tower? You thinking of Paxlayer? Because we left. No. We left Pax. Well, we're going to hunt around for this. Oh, there's a dead body right there. Maybe it's this guy. No trading dot com voucher. Yeah. Hey, it's Oxnall. Does Oxnall live here? Hey, Oxnall in the wild. Getting a little, getting a little stuck on this quest. Gray tower. Gray tower. Here we go. Someone killed the shopkeeper. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I tried to do this earlier and I couldn't figure out how to read up investigate quest. So go inside. Oh, okay. That's yeah. the head. Because I was like, how do they make it so people don't buy it? Oh, it's nine million nine hundred. So no one buys it, but the yeah. hint is that she is. I almost bought it on accident and gave them a million gold and just ran off like, oh, I got the clue. Uh, but I think basically but you the did have enough actually. Yeah. Oh, I did. I did at the time. Now I don't. Oh yeah. Yeah, now I'm down to hundred. Build the shopkeeper. Nice cozy little kitchen. Nothing awry here. What's that? A block of cheese. Need that for my restaurant. Yeah, don't accidentally buy that hint for a million gold. Though I'm sure Winfield would give it back. Right here. Picture of the patron of the house. Oh, this Chemicals. is more experimenting. House. Oh, 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 something's not good here. This is someone experimenting on themselves. 
ancient treasure cache in a place called the Grey Tower. However, the directions are some sort of riddle. After some time studying the seeker of the Grey Tower riddle, we realized that simple reading of the first letter of each line of the riddle revealed the location of the Grey Tower. Found the Grey Tower in the city indicated by the riddle, but we've not been able to determine how to enter. Every path seems to lead to a dead end. We were able to use the benches and columns to jump there. Oops. Excellent. In rope figures in the shadows outside my shop in several locations. Matthew followed the road man to Insidium Tower close to our vendor near the docks. Excellent. Oh. Is that the next place that we go? They said something about the riddle of the Grey Tower. But the first letter of each line is, is part of the group. Right, but what was the riddle of the Grey Tower? Are they talking about here? Oh, the, uh, where is the riddle of the Grey Tower? Is that? Maybe we missed something. Do it better, Travis. Do it better. Sorry. These are these are kind of meant to take They're your time. Challenging. Smell the roses. Orange roses in some cases. Yeah, usually. So it looks like this gray it. tower outside of there, Paxley. which we went probably to. means it's in Paxlayer scene, but on the edge. Yeah, maybe a different Paxlayer gray tower. I was looking for the riddle of the gray tower. If that was. I wanted to do the reading the first. I think we're supposed to head back. Let's. Where's the shop? Where? Oh, Festivus. I'm going to go back to Pax Lair. You can't do low level if you've been to back so you can teleport to zone. When will we be able to buy wigs and dye them? Judge wig would be great if it could be dyed. Yes, it could. That's my fault. It's my fault it's not dyeable. I asked about once a release, why can't we dye the judge wig? So you can have your Baroque crazy... It's because I hate people with hair. <laughs> There's your answer. Yeah, that's that's the answer. No, he, he literally nixed it many releases in a row. Well, yeah, yeah, okay, so I'll revisit it. I'll revisit it. How can you be Amadeus in your Because Amadeus wig. had a white wig. Pink. It was white. In the film. It was white. We'll Google search after it. At one point, he has pink. We're back. How do you play this game? All right, so that's the Great Tower by the docks. Another Great Tower by the docks. Go in here and see if we've missed a riddle of the Great Tower. Was there text in here? It was, right? There was in the basement. There's the guy reaching for the thing, and then there was a journal. I'll read that journal. Oh, We're not going to get to it. B B A M I O I. It's not spelling anything, is it? B B M I. I think we're stumped. Yeah, this is. The Bamamoids. Doing it wrong. Don't give us. A hint. Need a hint, Winfield, if you're watching. But this is cool. This is a cool room. Cool. Can you really rearrange the letters? Word scramble. Pretty good at those. Hmm. Every line, like every sentence, 
I love I love puzzles like this and where you guys do like some ciphering and no, that's not. I think that's the riddle of the great tower. But this is a really cool one. I plan on uh going and finishing when I have the time to kind of check it all out. If there's any pressure, 189 of you wait watching me try and do this. Yeah, it starts in Paxlayer, the the Grey Tower. Go check that one. Excuse <clears throat> me. Winfield says he doesn't remember, but it's very satisfying when so. Players make tough quests tougher than the devs. That's true. Sometimes we make them really tough, and then no one solves them, and then we go make them easy. Gan was famous for it. You know, really hard. Uh, Dan, also known as Plague of Locust, our main puzzle maker. Isn't really. But this is a cool quest that I encourage everybody to go try. Yeah, thank you, Winfield. Yeah, it's something you need more than, like, the... 20 minutes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Winfield. This over here. I like, just like check it out. The flowers. Oh, oh it looks like they're leaving it for someone. Oh, huh? I wonder who that's for. Oh, that is a memorial. That's yeah. Uh, Karen Maria. That is a memorial. With you guys. Very touching. I'm just running around Paxlayer because it's cool. For possible other. The Paxlayer is the one where everyone who lives there has some role within the town. Is that right, Star? And then they all come and role play like a real medieval society yeah. every now and then. Right. And Paxlayer is. Uh... The descendant of Paxlayer from Ultima Online, which was the first and oldest player town online game ever. Around. Yeah. 20, 20? Yep, uh, 21 years. What shard is that on? What uh, shard? Yeah. Uh, just be. Just be. Yeah. Shard in which I was the seer. Oh, were you? Nice. I wanted to be a a seer and I, I gave him a false driver's license because I went through the whole process and he had to be like 18 or 21 and I was only like 16. Yeah. And so I was in the system for a little bit and then they, they caught on. And... Yeah, this is cool just to check out. I was on Atlantic so I didn't get to see all the nice, we had some nice roles. How much more time do we have, Star? We only have two minutes. Two so... minutes. Well, we're not going to solve the quest in two minutes, so I'm just running around packs there. Cause... We are too dumb to solve the quest. <laughs> yeah. Dumb. Well, there's only three of us. Yeah, is that the problem? Maybe, maybe yeah. we had more of us. How many yeah, maybe if we were Maybe if we were uh, professional game designers, we could solve the quest. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry. That, that, that would... But unfortunately, we're we're only professional game designers, so can't solve a quest. I give up, and now I'm just throwing the packs there. That's, That's pretty nice. Looking. I haven't been here in a little bit. Well, it is truly a beautiful town, and it is an yeah. I'm an gonna... honor to uh, have you in our game. Uh, I'm. We are glad that you have made it over to Shroud, as we are honored to have all of our community here. And thank you for joining us for another weekly live stream. And congratulations to all the prize winners. And congratulations once again uh, to the fish contest prize winners from last week. That was a blast. Our first ever fetid. Uh, fishing content. You can go to uh, the uh, main screen telethon. That one. Uh, 
congratulations, winners of the uh, our first ever fetid fishing contest. Uh, it was a blast uh, to have yet another fishing contest in Shroud. And uh, that was really fun. If I didn't mail you your fish back, let me know. I think I got everybody. Yes, it was. And uh, thank you once again for being such an amazing community. And we will see you next week for more Carnival and Let the Good Times Roll. I do miss getting to say Dark Winter. <laughs> he does. He says it in. Uh, maybe I'll say Carnival. Ah, that's yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Carnival. Ooh, that's it's yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it, it, it's almost it's almost as creepy. Carnival. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Enjoy okay. your weekend, everybody. All right. Good night. Bye.